What's up, future millionaires? It's your boy, Mike the Investor, and I spent another $500 on the Voyager VGX token, and I'm gonna share with you my personal position in this video, and then we're gonna look at a new price prediction for 2021 for the VGX token. Now, before diving into the video, definitely consider grabbing you some free Bitcoin by using the Coinbase and the Voyager link down below, and let's get ready to dive right into it. All right, crypto investors, welcome back to the channel. Now, the first Voyager token video I released, I showed you guys my personal position after purchasing $500 in the Voyager token. Now, this video, I'm gonna show you what my position looks like after purchasing another $500 in the VGX token. So let's dive right in. All right, guys, so before diving into my personal VGX position, I made a tweet a few days ago sharing with you how much I purchased and where I actually bought in at, just being transparent with all of you. And you can see I made my first purchase around $1.10, and I wish I could have purchased a lot more around that price. And then I purchased my first $500 worth of VGX around $2, and I made a video on that, which I talked about earlier. And then my next $500 was around $4, which is the video we are on right now. So let's look at my personal position. All right, guys, so now we're looking at the Voyager token and the current price is around $668. If we look at my total position, I have 368.55 tokens and that is around $2,400 in value. And I'm currently up over 130% on this position and that is around $1,400 in value. Now, if we look at the average cost, it is $2.86. Now, I do believe these are still ground floor prices for the VGX token. Now, if we briefly look at the one day, they're currently down 2.8%. But if we go to the one week, we can see Voyager is up over 77%. That is massive, guys. And then if we look at the one month, Voyager has almost 7x in just a month, over 600%. That is massive. So the people who bought in well under a dollar, congratulations, because this is definitely a home run. But now we're going to look at a price prediction on where we can see the Voyager token potentially going this year in 2021. Let's check it out. So the article we're going to dive into is going to break down the three components that makes up the VGX price and show us what the prediction could be by the end of 2021. And this is coming by Pat Ackerman, who is a great guy who breaks down tokenomics on cryptocurrencies based off what the value can be based off of different metrics. So let's check this out. So to get the price prediction for the Voyager token, the price components he used are three inputs. That is the Voyager funded accounts, circulating supply, and the token efficiency. The first thing we're gonna look at is the customer funded accounts for the price prediction. You can see here we are currently in February and we are already getting close to that half a million in funded accounts. And the company did mention that they do wanna to get to that 10 million funded accounts. And if they're able to get there, which I truly believe they will in due time, that is definitely going to have a lot of price uh, appreciation on the positive side on the VGX token. Now moving down to the second component is the circulating supply. Now we move on down here. This is the graph and you can see the circulating supply does not include the token burn after one year, nor the token burn from transfers in the supply calculations. Estimates show that there can be between five to 10 million tokens burned after one year where people have lost their key. So that is something to keep in mind. Now, if you look here at this graph, he has it starting at March because February is currently almost over. So you can see the total max supply for the VGX token is around 230 million. They will probably raise that as the uh, adoption begins to spread into VGX, but currently this is being priced off of the 230 max supply. So you can see we are currently almost using all of that already. And as the months go on, you can see we are overusing the total supply of VGX. So you definitely can see that the demand for VGX is going to be sky high, which is probably going to force Voyager to upgrade their max supply because it is not gonna be enough to go around with the VLP program going on and other things like that. And as I move down a little bit, you're gonna see Pat Ackerman also says, from the most important part is the token efficiency. From a pure supply and demand perspective, there just isn't enough VGX to go around, which is definitely going to increase the price. 
Moving down to the last component here, this is going to be the Voyager Loyalties Program percentage participation using projected funded accounts and circulating supply. All right, so you can see May here, you can see we have the Explorer tier at 15%, Navigator tier at 10%, and the Voyager tier at 2%. Now Explorer is 500 tokens, Navigator is 5,000, and Voyager is 20,000 currently. We have the month of June with the current projection, so you can see the Explorer has went up from 15 to 25%, which is the lowest tier. We have June to August, it has actually moved down to 13%, and then from August to October, you can see that these percentages have definitely went down because we are using more of the VGX supply and it is not enough to go around. So definitely you want to get in on the ground floor. So as we move down a little bit more, he says, given the projected customer funded accounts, the token supply growth, the constrained supply, the equation says the expected token efficiency should be 54% of each new user being added to the platform and their impact on the VGX price. That is massive. So in simplest terms, he is saying for each new user that is added to the platform on Voyager, they have a 54% positive increase on the impact of the VGX token price. That is pretty impressive in my opinion. Now if we move down just a little bit more, we're going to now look at the pricing model here, all right? And you can see before looking at this graph, he says the 2021 VGX price prediction is somewhere between $40 to $50 by the end of the year. We just saw what the price was, which is a little bit under $7. So that is over a 30X from the current price, all right? He goes on to say that the honest reality is more people hold the token and receive interest. The price is for as higher as more users want the reward benefits. Come for the price appreciation and stay for the interest. Now moving back up here to the price, you could see here at 50% of the funded accounts, you can see here at 150,000 accounts, we are right around target, which is right around that $7 range. Now 200,000, we are around $10, but we're just gonna go all the way to 1 million accounts by the end of 2021. And you can see this is around $50 at 50%. If we go to 54%, that is around $55. And if we're at 60% of the uh, funded accounts, we are around $60 in a potential price prediction for the VGX token. Now, let's say you hit $60 from where the current price is now. That is around a 53X on your money that you would be able to see. Now, on the conservative end, my personal price prediction, I definitely think we're gonna see $30 by the end of the year, which that's still gonna give you over a 20X on your money. So on the high end, I definitely see uh, this price reaching anywhere from 60 to $80 by the end of 2021. Now this is not financial advice. This is just where I personally see uh, the VGX token going because of the adoption of crypto and also with Voyager being the best crypto exchange for beginners and other people to earn passive income and more benefits by using the Voyager app. This is just my personal opinion, but I do want to give a quick shout out to a good friend of mine. His name is Rich from the Helpful Entrepreneur channel. I'm actually wearing one of his shirts, send a big smile. So he is definitely helping out a lot of up and coming, you know, entrepreneurs who are one to you know, create their own business. So definitely uh, check out his channel. I will leave it down in the description for you guys. But if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely go ahead and get you some free Bitcoin by using the Coinbase and Voyager link down below. If you haven't connected with me yet on Twitter or Instagram, go ahead and connect with me at Mike the Investor. That is all I got for you. Remember to stay inspired, stay motivated, always invest in yourself, and I'm out.